Hey everybody, Throg here. Look, digital gaming has taken over the gaming industry really the past 5 to 10 years, and I thought, why not talk about the ye old argument of digital versus physical video games? And well, as you guys can tell, I think I'm a big fan of physical games. Back in the good old days, physical media was just a norm. Everything from books, movies, CDs, and video games were bought physically and it wasn't that uncommon to go over to a friend's house and see a giant stack of their favorite movies in the corner of the room. Now fast forward to today, and if someone has any sort of collection of media, they are considered to be hoarders. I mean, we just have to face the music now. We live in a digital age. Movies, music, and books can all be bought really with the click of a button and video games are following the same route. However, as a video game collector, I've always thought that owning a physical copy of a game is way better than owning its digital counterpart. I mean, how else am I supposed to tell people that I'm financially irresponsible if I can't show them my massive Wii U collection that no one cares about? Before I even get started, just understand that I have an extreme bias, so I will try to be as fair as possible when debating this topic. Starting off, probably the best thing about owning a game physically simply means that you actually own a copy of the game. That tangible disc or cartridge is yours until you decide to part ways with it. However, when purchasing a game digitally, you aren't necessarily buying the game itself, but rather a license that allows you to play it. The issue with this is that any game can be taken down from an online store at a moment's notice. Secondly, owning physical copies gives you the ability to sell or trade them in later on if you ever wanted to get rid of them. Personally, I think this is a huge selling point for physical games. For example, let's say that you bought a game that you were interested in, but after you began playing it, you realize quickly that you just don't like it. At that exact moment, you can turn around and sell it or trade it in at your local game store in order to get some money back to purchase something that you will eventually enjoy. With digital games, you don't have that option unless you try to get a refund before a specific date. Also, let's say you actually sit down and beat the game. Once you do that, it gives you the flexibility to get rid of it, especially if you are the type of person who never replays games after they beat it the first time. Now this last this point is merely my personal opinion, but there is nothing better than walking into a game room that has shelves filled with games. Even for myself, walking into my personal game room and looking at all these games reminds me that I have hundreds if not thousands of hours of entertainment at my fingertips. However, owning a large collection of physical games will lead to needing more room to store and display the games that you own. This can definitely be an issue for some who don't have the extra space, have children, or have something else in their life where they just don't have room. For example, in the house I used to live in, my entire game room took up an entire bedroom in the house. Now, could I have condensed it to make it more compact to fit in the closet? Absolutely, but even if I did that, it would still take up quite a bit of space. Also, you'll end up spending more money on shelving, which means you'll spend more and more money in the long haul, depending on how much you decide to collect for over a specific period of time. Well, now that I've gotten that extremely biased opinion off my chest, now comes time to talk about digital video games. Believe it or not, I actually do own a few games digitally because, well, there are some games that just don't get a physical copy. And as much as it pains me to say this, there are actually legitimate reasons as to why someone would want to buy a game digitally. Probably the number one reason why someone buys a game digitally is just for the sheer convenience. I mean, let's be honest, most people don't like other people, so having the ability not to leave your house to buy a game you want is just fantastic, especially for introverts. All it takes is loading up the online store, then finding the game you want to buy and you are practically finished with the process. And look, I know a lot of people will argue, well, physical games don't require downloads. And well, that was true with generations like the PlayStation 2 and the GameCube and the original Xbox, but really when you think about it, even physical games now require some sort of download to even play them. In my opinion though, I think digital gaming benefits those who play on a system like the Nintendo Switch. Having your games digitally allows you to truly take advantage of the console's hybrid nature. Also, it keeps you from having to carry around those small Switch cartridges that are very easy to lose if you aren't careful. Now that digital games have become more and more popular as time has gone on, companies have taken advantage of this by releasing digital-only consoles. Yep, my worst nightmare has now become a reality. 
The thing is, these consoles are cheaper than their disc-based counterparts. For example, the Xbox Series S is only $300 while the Series X is $500, and the $300 price gap is a big deal for people who are on a tight budget. And for the people who really only want to play games like Fortnite, Call of Duty, FIFA, 2K, or Madden, then really a digital-only console is perfectly suited for their needs. And last but not least, obviously digital games don't take up any space in your home, so you really don't have to worry about buying storage to be able to display all the games that you own. And now leads me to the best part, the part I've been waiting for the most, where I get to tear into digital video games and try to convince people to buy physical media only, that way it will last for generations to come. However, buying all of your games digitally will eat up at your hard drive space very quickly. I mean, have you seen some of the file sizes for these games? especially something like Call of Duty, it is insane that one game takes up so much space. The issue then becomes, well, I want to download another game, but I don't have any more space on my hard drive. At that point, you have two options. Delete something that you don't play anymore, or buy external storage for your console, which can be quite pricey depending on what you get. However, I believe that the biggest issue surrounding digital games is the fact that they can be taken down from an online storefront with no notice. For example, for example, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World was pulled down during the PlayStation 3 era, and it was a huge deal when it happened because, well, they never put it back up for sale. So you had all these people who really wanted to buy the game, but it was never available to them after that day. Another prime example of this is when the PlayStation 4 version of Cyberpunk was taken off the PSN store because of how poorly it ran. Even though, yes, they did this for a very good reason, it just goes to show you that none of these games are safe from being taken down with little to no warning whatsoever. Of course, when you talk about digital games, obviously I have to bring up the download times. Now this one is primarily going to depend on where someone lives or if they have good internet, but if someone buys a game digitally and their internet is just awful, well, they won't be playing the game for quite some time because it's going to take forever to download. Look, at the end of the day, there are positives and negatives to owning your games digitally or physically. To be quite frank, this is really going to boil down to your personal preference. For many, the convenience of digital gaming will always take precedence over buying them physically. For other people like myself, they will always buy physically because, well, that's just what they want to do. They like having that copy on their shelf that they know will always be theirs until they decide to get rid of it. In essence, you are going to have to weigh the pros and the cons of both and make the decision for yourself and what would best suit your needs. Personally, as you guys know, I've always bought as many games as I possibly can physically because, well, that's just what I prefer. I believe that the pros of owning physical media vastly outweigh the cons, but hey, there are some people who disagree with me on that, and that's okay. Well, there you have it, everyone. Physical games are the winner. I I'm just kidding. It's really all down to personal preference, but what if there was a way for companies to appease both physical and digital gamers was something that had never been done in the industry before. Oh god, no, this is not what I wanted.